Valentino, Valentino, Valentino. This is a big deal. I'm Big Boss. Welcome back to another Before You Buy of Valentino Womo Born in Roma Yellow Dream The Oda Toilet. I'm a money man. Draped in designer. I stay high fashion. Tissue bougie. No, I'm high maintenance. Valentino, Valentino. As y'all know, Valentino Womo is like Valentino's best fragrance line, in my opinion, okay? I really love what Valentino been doing. All their fragrances stick to the same DNA, but they always branch out in a different lane, okay? Right now we have Yellow Dream. Honestly, in my opinion, this is the most weakest and honestly not as popular Valentino Womo in the whole line, okay? There is other Valentino Womos that's better than this. This is like the little cousin that's left in the basement that nobody really likes. It's either a hit and a miss for people's nose out there. So it's not widely enjoyable, okay? Like Valentino Coral Fantasy, which is one of the best ones I love. And also, you know, we got Valentino Womo Born in Roma. Jesus, smells real good. You know, we also got the original Valentino Womo. And then, you know, you got Valentino Womo Intense. Them all is beating this, okay? But I don't wanna crap on this too much. There's a lot of people out here that love this fragrance. Valentino Womo is so good, I doubt that any fragrance is technically trash, okay? This is just the weakest. Let's get into the unboxing, just in case you stumbled across a fake bottle and you want to use this video to verify your bottle's legitimacy, okay? Let's get into it. Hey, Y'all, this is the packaging. Looks like every other Valentino box when it comes to these little spikes right here. Y'all know Valentino always get down like that. You know what I mean? Crack it open like this. You know what I mean? You got the bottle. Yeah, Yellow Dream, it looks like diamonds, okay? Looks like diamonds. This is the batch code on the bottom of the box, so y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? On the back, you know, we got the ingredients in case you wanna make up a concoction at your house, okay? So we gonna throw that over there. But yeah, back to this diamond bottle. Don't just like diamonds, like crystals. Like this bottle is sexy. I see what they meant when they say Yellow Dream. This is honestly a yellow dream okay so you know we got valentino same uh batch code as it was on the box at the bottom of the bottle so you can always just check this to see when did i get this bottle you know say auto toilet 50 ml i didn't go get the 100 because i don't plan on keeping this you know what i mean okay so this valentino yellow dream came out in 2021 okay this is a warm spicy and sweet fragrance in the top notes we have pineapple and mandarin orange ginger gingerbread and spices in the middle notes vanilla and cedarwood in the bottom notes this valentino is the date night version of all the valentinos as you know every single valentino that came out is all good for every day wear okay you can wear all the other valentinos for every day this is the only one that you can wear during date night so call this the date night valentino Okay, this smells like pineapple gingerbread cookies. Okay, so imagine you got a gingerbread cookie and you have pineapple icing on the top. That's kind of what you're getting out of this, okay? Pineapple gingerbread cookies, sugar cookies. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, I did say I had that ginger. So I got this like little spicy cinnamon feel with Mm, like sweet gingerbread. I cannot get out of here. Like this is really gingerfied. Like this right here is gingerbread cookies. I'm not gonna lie to you. That is what this smells like. It's great for date night. I know they say eau de toilette, but you know, any fragrance that I tell y'all that got spice in it projects heavy. Okay, this projects loud. Okay, you're going to smell it. Okay, this is a hit or miss. Some people don't like that gingerbread. You know what I'm saying? I got a little backstory. When I started making my own fragrance, like I'm starting to make my own fragrance, mine smelled so much similar to this. It's crazy. It just don't got that pineapple accord. Mine was just straight gingerbread. But this is more like on the citrus gingerbread. 
and where do you usually eat gingerbreads like like what season that is more like a winter season so that is all about i'm talking about uh, uh christmas you know what i'm saying i'm talking about you got uh thanksgiving fall winter is great for this fragrance don't let the color of this fragrance fool you you're looking at the color like oh that looks like spring and summer it's not it's not okay this is for winter and fall don't want to get it confused you want to make sure you stay in season when you wear this now if it's a cold night in the spring you might be able to pull this off okay when it comes to compliments yes you always gonna get compliments if you smell good because y'all know 95 percent of dudes out there is even in you know, and they're not even wearing fragrances so for you to even have something that smell good on you already winning regardless anyway you know what i'm saying so let's just go ahead and get that out the blue like you're already looking and smelling good but you can pick this up from alta for like 82 dollars okay so you can't really say it costs too much i want to spend more than 85 for this if i was going to rate this one out of ten like I said, it don't stink, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna last you about like four to five hours, moderately, it's gonna project moderately, it's gonna get you moderate amount of compliments. I can get this like a six out of 10, it's not garbage, you know what I'm saying? It's just a gingerbread house, so it's all about your preference. I don't really wanna go out here smelling like a gingerbread, so it's not really for me. But people out there, I promise you, if you love gingerbread, you love that pineapple icing type smell, this is for you, okay? You know what I'm saying? This yellow dream is for you. I know a lot of people out here that like this fragrance. Okay. If y'all like this review though, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Big Boss. You know what I mean? I'm cranking off these. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'll rate, I'll rate this in fifth place. Um, an alternative to this little ginger fragrance, in my opinion, if y'all like this, I'll pick up like maybe like Paco Rebond 1 million, like the original 1 million. Uh, I will also might pick up like Spice Bomb Extreme if you like this. Also, if you like a Zorro Wanted by Night, you can get that instead of this. Dior Oma Tints instead of this. Dior Savage Elixir instead of this. You can get Parfum de Marty's Layton instead of this. Um, yeah, you can get you a lot of fragrances as alternative. So when you go to the store, Look up them fragrances before you pick up this to make sure this is the one you really want to cash out on. This is the one you really, really want in case you just like Valentino and you're just picking it up just because you'd like to support the brand. Okay, I'm Big Boss. Like, comment, and subscribe. We got things to do, so I'm gonna catch y'all later. I'm out. Bitch, I'm Big Boss. I'm a threat. Bitch, nigga, pipe down for our flex. I'ma put a whole lot of money on your dreads. Like a bowling ball, I put a hole in your head. Shit that you rap in your songs, I'll be live.